Hi, fourth graders. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Christmas tree portion of our holiday and clay project. So the first thing that we're going to do is take the lid that we are provided and we're just using that to get a sense of how big we want the bottom of our Christmas tree to be. We want to make sure that we're creating a cone and not just building walls straight up. So I'm going to take my first coil and if you notice I went ahead and made my coils ahead of time and they're all different lengths and that is totally okay for this project. So I'm going to take my first coil and I'm not pressing it against the lid. I'm just gently placing it around the outside so that I have a nicely rounded bottom. And as soon as I have that first coil, I can go ahead and just slide that lid out so that it doesn't get stuck in our clay later. So as I lay my coils on top of each other, I am gently pressing because I don't want any air gaps between each coil. I'm also letting the bottom coil peek out a little bit so I painted two coils, red and yellow, so that you could see it a little easier. But if the top coil is directly lined up with the one below it, you aren't able to see the yellow coil at all. So we want to bring the red coil in towards the inside of the circle so that that coil underneath can be seen. That's what's gonna give us the nice cone shape instead of going straight up. So I just start my second coil where the first one left off and I'm just kind of blending those two in together. And I am wrapping it around once again, pressing gently, making sure there aren't any air gaps. And I'm also making sure that the bottom coil is peeking out towards the outside. I'm going to grab my next coil and I'm going to repeat the process. While you're building, if your tree does start to lean a little bit too much towards the center, you can always go in from the inside and press it back out into that nice cone shape. So I'm almost to the top. I think I'm only going to need maybe one more coil. And when we get to the top, we're going to leave a little opening about the size of my pinky. And that is so when we have a star, the star can sit on top. I'm just going to use a little bit more coil. All right. And you can break it off where you need to. So I can get my pinky finger in there. And I am done with my Christmas tree. Just gonna shape it a little bit and put that to the side. It is sticking to the desk a little, so I'm just gonna use this to slide it up and over. Then for the star, I'm just gonna take a little chunk of clay and I'm going to pound it out. And I don't want it super thin, maybe about that thick. And once I have it a nice flat slab, I'm gonna take the cookie cutter, press it down all the way and then remove the extra clay that is on the outside of the cutter. Just taking all the extra off. Okay, then I'm going to gently press my star out of the cookie cutter. And if you need to, you can shape it back up nicely. Now I have a star that can go in the top of my tree. And that's how you do it.